to the Summerlin Bobcast. I'm Jesse here with Brandon. And I'm going to start you off with our wonderful Valentine's Day, Wednesday, February 14th. We got mini cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Thursday, February 15th for breakfast is breakfast burritos. And Friday, February 15th, you had no school, so go to state wrestling or the basketball game that night. Monday, February 19th, French toast sticks. And the next day, Tuesday, February 20th, Bosco sticks. Wednesday, February 21st, donuts. Wednesday, February 14th, the wonderful Valentine's Day for lunch. We'll have stuff for us. Pizza, broccoli, fruit and veggie bar. Thursday, February 15th, grilled chicken, curly fries, fruit and veggie bar. Friday, February 15th, no school. Monday, February 19th is spaghetti, breadstick, fruit and veggie bar. Tuesday, February 20th, nachos, refried beans, fruit and veggie bar. And Wednesday, February 21st, making a blanket, tater tots, fruit and veggie bar. Our general news information sheets are available in the office for youth ages 4 through 19. Interested in playing ISO soccer? Of course I'll sign up for that, guys. Registration ends March 4th. No late registrations are going to be accepted. So get those in. You can register players and volunteers at AYSO629.org. And there's a sign-up sheet in the office for those interested in taking driver's ed this summer. Please sign up by February 15th. The cost of the course is $325 per student. Ain't nobody got that kind of money lying around. So you might just want to steal from a bank or something. The Village of Clearwater is currently accepting applications for the following position. Pool manager, assistant pool manager, lifeguard, part-time maintenance position. Depending on the individual, this position may be year-round. Applications are available in the Orchard Village office located in the Orchard Community Center. For those students who took driver's ed last summer, you have to get your driver's permit number to Mr. Davis before you go to the DMV to get a license. Seniors! As you were please. getting your senior pictures back, would you please, as Brandon put it, very nicely put, Brandon, thank you, please send a photo to Abby Funk at summerlobobcast.org for the senior pictures page and youth wrestling for elementary news. Monday and Thursday nights from 6.15 to 7.15 for grades 3rd through 8. Tuesday night from 6.15 oh, oh. to 7 for our pre-K through 2nd grade. Coding club Mondays after school until 4.30 during 2nd semester for from 6th grade. Sports and activities. Brandon. There we go. Finally, Monday, February 12th, we've got a 7 o'clock school board. That's saying, right? For Wednesday, February 14th, we have absolutely nothing. For Thursday the 15th, we have Girls Sub-District at EPPJ. State Wrestling kicks off. Friday, February 16th, we have no school. State Wrestling continues. Boys Basketball is going to be at Boyd County. JV Boys playing at 6. And Varsity Boys at 7. And Saturday, February 17th, State Wrestling speech meet at Battle Creek. What is our special uh, thing? All right, up next, we got Bryce's Car <laughs> Trivia with Logan. And Cajun Christian's Lucky and Cajun with Christian's Sam and Dylan. Dylan. Okay, we're back with another card trivia. I'm Bryce, and this is Logan again. This week, we are going to do German cars. So the first question is, Logan, how many registered cars are there in Germany as of 2017? Uh, 72 million. Incorrect. 46 million. Second question, where was the world's first engine factory built in 1864? Uh, Berlin. No. Cologne. Okay. Oh. How many people in Germany use car sharing options? Car sharing, what? I have no idea what car sharing uh, is. Two million. Correct. Number four, which car manufacturer of today was the world's biggest producer of bicycles in the early 20th century? Uh, Opel. Uh -huh. I actually got that right. Which of the following brands does not belong to the Berish Motrin work BMW? Audi. Mini, Mini Cooper, Rolls Royce, or Audi? Audi. And you said Audi? Correct. Germany is among the few countries in the world that does not have a general speed limit. For which other country is this also true? Uh, we're going to say Somalia. Who developed the first car featuring a combustion engine? Carl Benz. Correct. Number eight. 
How many people are employed in the car industry in Germany, including its suppliers, as of 2017? We're going to say 1,075,000. Oh, 800,000. Number nine. What was not developed by Ferdinand Porsche? The world's first hybrid car, the automatic transmission, or the Volkswagen Beetle? The world's first hybrid car. Incorrect. Oh, automatic automatic trans transmission. transmission. Number 10. In the year 1899, racing driver Camille Jensky broke the speed record of 100 kilometers an hour in his car. Le, Jum Le Jumais Conte. How was the car fueled with steam, electricity, or petrol? Let's think about this. I want to say petrol, but I feel like that's going to make too much sense. We're going to say steam. <laughs> it was electricity. Uh, so that down. is it with the German car questions. First trivia. Uh, who gets first question? We'll take it. Okay, we got it. Oh, um, right. There it is. Can you read the question to us? It's our question, buddy. It's our question, buddy. What boxer holds the record for youngest professional debut? Kid, Loretto, Baby, Arizema DD, Jack Dempsey, and Teddy Baldock. It's Jack Dempsey. It's gotta be. Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Horrible. Oh, guys. Right. Incorrect. And you guys can what are we saying? Can't steal. We literally are stealing. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Um, hey, go for it. Then take a shot in the dark. Act like you're gonna get it. It's gotta be the kid. Kid. Kid Loretto. Not me. It was not <laughs> Kid Loretto. <laughs> what was the answer? What was the right answer? <laughs> no, we're not gonna restart it. Alberto, baby, Arizona. What yachting race was called the hundred? What what is his name? Uh, hundred until a uh, team What's from the U.S. won the race in 1851. It's one of the first two. I feel like. No, by America's Cup. I'll say the other one. I'm right. mewing. Freedom Cup. No, Admirals Cup. All right, we'll go Admirals Cup. That is incorrect. No, it's still. Let's get that hand still going. It's not Stanley Cup. That's, that's hot. Right. It's not Stanley. Uh, Probably the Freedom Cup. No, it's definitely America. Well, it's not. It wouldn't be America's because it says until it's even. Whatever. Let's just go Freedom Cup. And, and it was so an error. There it is. I knew you were going to say that. There it is. I'll read it. Going to five. Yeah. What golfer coined the term caddy? No, you should know this. Bobby Jones. Young Tom Morris, be nice if I could read it, but he keeps going over top of it. Walter Hagen, Mary Queen of Scots. How do you not know this? But it's probably, this really is probably in like 1734. I don't care. It's like, I knew Eons football like players back then. then. Yeah. I don't know golfers back then. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of Young Tom Morris. Let's go with Walter like Hagen. Walter, yeah, Walter. That is right. correct. We want to steal. Yeah, I think it's got to be Young Tom Morris. Yep, go for it. Young Tom Morris. How did you guess it? Bobby Jones. Okay. Yeah. Oh. In 1552. Couldn't guess that. Uh, what was the first sport televised in the U.S.? Golf, rugby, baseball, or tennis? That's what I was going to say. Baseball. Yeah, that's yeah, it's just so obvious. It's crazy. What's that point? What sport has Hooker and a scrum? Fencing, rugby, gymnastics, polo. Uh, he's, um, is it not fencing? Thinking, definitely not gymnastics. That's right, that it's fencing. It might be fencing. Ram in the Bible, it's I fencing. I don't know anything about fencing. So, yeah, we're in fencing. Right. Tree steel. Yeah, I just might as well lose yeah. a point. No, I'll get you on. But I, right think, answer I think it's gymnastics. I think it's rugby. It was rugby. It was rugby. Uh, who was the only college football player to win the Heisman Trophy twice? Earl Campbell, O.J. Simpson, Archie Griffin, or Jay Berwin? Not Campbell. I feel like it's going to be Archie Griffin. That's what I was going to say, yeah. Go with Archie Griffin. There it is. They're just going to build Archie three. 
Who was yeah. the first golfer to win more than one million no. official earnings in a single year? Okay, so this is all you. This is where I'm gonna be like stuck because like the first three options are great. Oh, it's definitely three. not Curtis Strange. There's no shot. You want to eliminate it? Yeah. And it was Curtis Strange. <laughs> you get that point then? No. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, what professional sports league MVP trophy is called the Potoloff Cup? Okay, well, it's not the NHL because that's the Stanley Cup. It's not NHL and NBA. Yep, so it's. Huh? 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 The, next one, the, the MVP the trophy? Cup. At least for the first time. The MVP trophy is called the Potoloff Cup. Who'd you, who'd you play? Not. The NBA? Duh. They eliminated it. Duh! You ain't know that. What sport is the most common cause of eye injuries in the U.S.? Not fencing. Definitely not fencing. No one knows. Darts. Isn't it darts? That isn't football. Football, I've never heard of an eye injury in football. People get hit in the head a lot. You never this. know. I know. This boy knows. Boy played for the Browns. And that ref threw that. I thought it was the Ravens. See, it was like, the Ravens. They were playing the Browns. Uh-huh. That's like, but he threw the flag right into his eye. That's yeah. like one occasion, though. It's like not fencing. Darts. Yeah, I'd say darts. Darts. That'll be. And we're stealing. I it's fencing. Right. Why would it be fencing? Fence. They have a match. Oh, oh my god, it was football. Baseball. I thought for sure it would be fencing. They have a mask. Well, well yeah, I get that, but still, they got like that pointy little yeah, stick. They can't like, go through the mask. You don't know that. Uh, what speed skater was the first American woman to win five gold medals in Olympic competition? Archie Mae. Bonnie Blair, Mary Lou Retton, or Anne Henning. Anne Henning. Let me get Archie Manning. I think that's the one I lost to. Yeah. Let's go Mary Lou. That is cur- I mean, let's just steal it because we don't want Yeah, let's just um, go for it. I'm sorry. I'm lost. Not these people. I'm lost. I don't trust their logic with the last two. Bonnie Blair. Maybe? I'm just want to say that on Bonnie Blair. That's Run one. that, baby. Two points. Wait, you only get one, right? One for stealing or no, two? That's two for stealing. There it is. It's a scratch golfer. Golfer uh, doesn't make a tournament cut. Oh, golf, this is golfer easy. averages one bogey per hole. Golfer with a handicap of zero. Golfer who misses the ball. So golfer with a handicap of zero. Oh, it's our question. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. Banger! I know golf, boys. Straight bailed. Yeah. Straight bailed. Straight I bailed. A golf term that I knew. Uh, in NASCAR, what did the term groove mean? Getting fresh tires, practice of racing nose to tail, best route around... The racetrack strategy of pitting well before running out of fuel. It's gonna be the middle one. That's what I the best route. Best route. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Big and bell, bro. Like I can't. What sport did astronaut Alan Shepard play on the moon in 1971? I think it's golf. I'm pretty sure it was golf. I'm pretty sure it's golf. Let's go golf. We're golf. Let's go. Let's go golfing. Yeah. Straight mail. DJ. Uh, hey, who is the heaviest player in NFL history? Eric Gibson, William Perry, Terrell Brown, or Nate Newton? It's William Perry, isn't it? Sure. How is he not? You guys want to steal for the win? You steal I, I, don't, I don't want to steal, but I think it's Nate. I think it's Aaron Gibson. Okay. It was Aaron Gibson. Where's Vince Woolfork at? That's what I'm saying. He was, I was looking for it. Pounds I, don't, I was square. looking for it. I was like, it's not up there. It's through the only no-hit game in a World Series history. It's for the W? Yeah. She did first of five, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's our question. Yeah. What picture do you mean? It's, it's Don. It's my boy Don. That's all you. It's my boy Don. That's all you. Game over. Bang! <laughs> Wait, we get rebuttal. Rebuttal. Who was uh, the first professional football player? Okay. John Brady. It's William. Right? It's William. 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 All right. Did you nice. keep answering? Is he telling you wrong? Yeah, facts. Uh, uh, time to read the five. Who was, then he who was Muhammad Ali's opponent in the Rumble in the Jungle? Ken Norton? Joe Frazier? George Foreman? Trevor? What's the same? Burdick? Agreed, uh, it's gonna be one of the middle two, right? I feel like it is. I feel like it's Frazier. Go, Joe. Um, I was gonna say that at first, and I heard the name. Eliminate the outside. Lemonade. You guys can eliminate. 
Yeah, get rid of the first one, right? That boy's out of there. Can we get rid of the last one, too? I don't know. That boy's out of there. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. Ooh. Fitty fitty. You got it. Fitty fitty. You got the last one right. You got it. Phone flip. Phone flip? Nope. Go George Foreman. Dang. Ooh. It's coming. Okay. Uh, Why did Michael Jordan one yeah, swear yes. number two? And then they get sold like I can, bro. 23 in an NBA game against the Orlando Magic in honor of Roger Staubach. His jersey was stolen. It was his 12th wedding anniversary. It was the number he wore playing baseball that year. I can't, bro. They just get sold. His jersey was stolen. Oh, my God. They just get Eric sold. So we go to seven now. I didn't know that. No, it's next point wins. Start our question. Next point wins. Go, what do you call a score of four under par? On, oh, my gosh. Are you under kidding under. me? Wait, I, Wait, let me do this one. Oh, God. Can I eliminate him for you? No. And oh, golf, what do you call no. a score of four under par? Do you not sell this? Because I know sure. that's what it is. I know you do not sell because I know this. <laughs> Dude, right now, I've only heard of one of those. What do you think of this case? Is first? I've only heard of Eagle. Do you know that's, what that's, is? That's two, right? Yeah, that's yeah. two. Never heard of a vulture. That's a bird. It's a bird. Aren't they all birds? I can't yeah. sell this. Don't tell me. No, it's a this. condor. What is that? I thought you said you are going to like well, cage like, answers. You, you said you got this. Okay, but no, the thing is like, how do you know? What four it's, under par is, if you don't know like, it's what the... Birdie? F- eagle. I actually don't know what comes for a condor. What's I don't know. Birdie? We lost. We lost. We lost. Okay. I don't know. Condor's four, and then I think it's something. Good question. They get this wrong, they lose. Four under is They get this wrong, they lose. And Batman, what is a bulk? Official name for the object play. Player. Official name for the object player hit. Three. A violation of playing rules. Service. Serve. Just like throwing. It's got to be service. Lost. It's got to be that one. Yeah. Which one are you? The one you're the one they're on right now. Right here. You have faint during service? So it's gotta be it. Hold! It's a good thing you said that, because I was gonna go with the second one. I got it on the third page. Six. What MLB player holds the record for most games played with no World Series appearances? It's gotta be Yogi. Only OGs know Yogi. Yeah, you run that, because I don't know baseball. I... Yogi Berry? Yogi Berry? It's between the two. I don't even see it in the front. Go Yogi. No! Right. <sighs> it was Raphael. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Um, what was the most points? Hey, turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, football game. Yeah. Uh, 222. Good Give game, us a W. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time.